haven't ever gone to see Wrightstown Russell, please do so. It is an amazing experience. Besides having great wrestlers and enthusiastic coaches, it's amazing how many people they can get in the corner. <laughs> Billy, I don't know how many times I looked up. You have nine guys there screaming at the ref when I'm going, hey, hey. And you never get penalized for it. So whatever you're doing, it's right. Keep going. It works. No matter how you measure Billy, he's an outstanding individual and a highly successful coach, a great father, and a great leader of young men. Uh, he's been cutting edge all the time. He uh, saw Dennis Hall, wanted him in the room, started running Dennis Hall clinics. Now they got girls in the room over there, they got a training center for girls. Wherever wrestling's going, William sees it, gets there first, and pulls people along with him. That's an important characteristic. But I think more important than all his success, and he's had all that success, they've won the state, they've had lots of state champions, they're a great, great wrestling team. He is a better man. I want to tell you two short stories, and I think it sums up everything you need to know. Wright Stone makes a practice of giving people with physical challenges opportunities to participate. One of the best stories I ever heard of was, and this is the kind of man Bill is and how his kids respond to him, one of his varsity starters gave away his varsity spot to a kid who was physically challenged. Then one of the referees, who we can't tell you who it is because it's not legal, <coughs> made sure that that was going to be the last match of the day. And so the kid with the challenges had the opportunity to be a varsity wrestler, be in a match, and have his points scored. Of course, the other team knew what was going on, and everybody participated. Everybody went at it hard, but they did it with a lot of love. And when it was over, the referee raised both hands, and the gym came to their feet. It was a tremendous display of what we're really here for. It has nothing to do with who wins the dual meet and who doesn't. He does this other thing, and I've seen it on TV a whole bunch of times. And so, Billy, just so you know, I'm sitting in my living room crying. Every time I see it, I cry. Right Stone runs with kids who can't run. And they make sure they get in their chair, and they take them out, and they run the course. And at the end, if the kid has the ability to, they help him out of the chair, and the kid finishes the race. And if he hasn't got the ability to do that, they take him across. Those kids are just as important to Wrightstown as all those state champions. It's an incredible place full of wonderful people. And William, we're so proud to have known you. Come on up here. All right. When I first started coaching, we didn't have a youth program at Wrightstown. Uh, there was no uh, places to start it, so I went to the American Legion and asked if they would help support the program. They agreed to, and uh, the first year we wrestled at the Little Shoot St. John's Tournament, and we went out there with white t-shirts and cut off blue jeans. And uh, they wrestled pretty good. I think we had one champion, and the other ones were pretty glad to be there. Uh, I'd like to thank the Wright South School District, because I don't teach there, I never did teach, I'm a farmer. And uh, the school district offered me the position for the assistant coaching job and then the head coaching job. And I'd like to thank all the coaches over the last 40 years, 45 years. All the coaches that I've had were ex-wrestlers that came back. They came back to write down to share and, and to give it back to the sport. And uh, our whole program is, is, is run by uh, ex-wrestlers. Um, I'd like to thank all my family, my brothers, my sisters, I think they're all here, my mother-in-law, uh, sister-in-law, uh, brother-in-law, all my family and stuff that uh, have supported us through the years. I'd like to thank my family, my direct family, Matt, Keith, 
Christine, Donnie, Billy, Stephanie, and all their grandkids and their families. Um, Matt is coaching at Wrightstown. I retired last year. He's coaching at Wrightstown. He took over the head wrestling coaching job. Keith and Donnie are coaching at Reedsville. Uh, they coach their, Donnie's the head coach, Keith's assistant. So the family is, is doing pretty good. Um, Steph was the first girl to wrestle in the state tournament. Uh, she wrestled for me. Christine was a basketball player. I didn't get to watch her very much, but she, she did a good job. Now we have grandkids wrestling, so I get to go watch them. I'd like to thank Keith Sweat uh, for all that he's done for these programs, for the Greco, for uh, the, uh, the awards that we're getting today. I'd like to thank all the inductees. You know, it's, it's an honor for me, you know, far away from Greenleaf, to be up here with all you people and getting these awards. I'd like to thank you, and, and it's a great honor for me to be here. Um, I'd like to thank the nominating committee um, for everything they did and for accepting me as, as uh, into the National Hall of Fame. All of our families, in, in, and I think all the coaches know it, that it's pretty much a family when you, when you start wrestling. You're, you're with these guys all the time, and, and one of my wrestlers put on Facebook one time that uh, where else can you be a part of a team? And you get out there and you fight, you wrestle hard, you get mad at one another, and you get done, you walk down the locker room and you laugh and you goof around and you leave. It's a big family at Wrights now. It's not, not just one person. And, you know, uh, it's not about me as winning. It's all about getting kids to get to their goals, what they want to do. And it's, it's, uh, it's been really uh, humbling for me to be part of what we've done. Um, we've had girls wrestle. We had girls wrestling on our wrestling team. Um, but like he said, we had some, we've had hand, uh, handicapped kids that wrestled. And we gave them the opportunity. We never, never put them on the side and said that they couldn't do it. These kids came up there and they wrestled right with everybody. They practiced right with everybody. And they got the opportunity to do whatever they could. Um, and I remember when I was first coaching, you know, I used to go around and pick up all the neighborhood kids and go to the little kids' rest. You know, it was, it was a lot of work, you know, and, and uh, you know, but that was, that was part of it. That's how I started our program. That's how I got everybody involved. And I used to take this one kid home all the time and had to drive him home and I always give him a hard time. And I said, you know, you're a senior. I said, what's your goals? Be on a varsity wrestling team? Make it down to the state? And go out on the mat. Well, two of his goals he got to do. Went down to the state tournament, and you know the, the stop was down there. You know, I mean, he ain't got that blue tag on it, whatever color tag on. Get out of there. You don't belong there. So anyway, I talked to Keith Herman, not Keith Herman, but uh, uh, Don Herman, and he says, "Yeah, bring him down." So we got to walk around the mat, showed him all the whole facility and stuff, and it was pretty pretty great for it for what he did. And uh, that was that was part of, of, of everything. And I'd like to thank one person. We have six kids in our family, and uh, I know I hate a few, Scott. <laughs> and uh, she's done this for all the years I've been coaching. She pretty much raised the kids. I had. I used to think I had weekends that I helped with the kids and stuff, but it was usually just Sunday. The Saturday you were coaching, I went to JV tournaments and stuff. I'd like to thank my wife, Sherry, for all the years that she's taken care of the kids, milk cows, ran a farm, um, just been there all the time for us. And, you know, I guess it wasn't always coaching wrestling because I got six kids, so. <laughs> <laughs> so we made the time of the time of the Quite a bit of the backbone of our wrestling program, you know. We started wrestling out of state, going out of state stuff, and she would run all the, all the, you know, money makers and who paid and all that stuff. And you know, we've been starting to step back from it a little bit. And uh, I'd like to thank all the people from Wrightstown. Like uh, he said, Glasky's empty. I think Wrightstown's empty. You know, there's a lot of people here from Wrightstown. I thank you very much for being here. And, Supporting me and everything. Probably didn't hear that. I'm not starting over. 
I'd like to thank everybody from Wright South for coming. Now, I just got a few remind, remember, memories that I've had. Um, I remember when I first started coaching, think of this, Mike Lozick would bring his middle schoolers, grade school kids, to Wrightstown to wrestle against us. And we used to wrestle in the cafeteria. And Mike was coach, and now he's you know, great, great official. Another memory was uh, Larry Juarez. We're wrestling at the Cheesehead Tournament, and uh, our 152 pounders wrestling, Stoughton's 152 pounder, and it's a great match. And Larry's, he's repping that match, and it's going back and forth, back. He's not making any color. We're going, there, there's, no, no. No, he didn't, oh. And he ended up repping that match, and these kids were wrestling around, flying back and forth, but he, he had control of that match, the whole match. And he knew when to make the calls and made the right calls. And we won, but I mean, it was, <laughs> that was the most important. But it was, it was such a match that, you know, after the match, I, I had to congratulate him on a great match because of the way that the matches were wrestled. Then there's one other thing that, uh, I think it was two years ago at the Cheesehead, Brad Stevens was coach, there was ref in a match, you know, and stuff. And when we wrestled them out of state kids, you know, and, you know, they're from out of state. You know, you take them down, take them down. Make sure they know they're getting taken down. So we, you know, our 126 pounder, he takes the kid up, picks him up, brings him down on the mat. I he hit first. And Brad nails him for one point penalty, you know, slam. I said, really? So match is going on and we're walking around and Larry was uh, the off mat official and Larry, Larry, Brad talked to Larry and Brad comes over by me and I'm sitting in a chair. He says, Larry agreed with me. I said, yeah, you're both wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it's been a great time. I had a lot of fun, a lot of uh, great memories and uh, I'm, I'm still kind of, uh, I missed it a little bit this year, uh, especially going down to the state tournament. You know, God must have wanted me to go down to that state tournament and stay there. We had planned on going down there Thursday night and driving back. Well, Thursday night, snow, snowstorm. And I got my Dodge truck, which usually can go through anything. You know, Dodge, four-wheel drive, I get to drive it for an hour and I get to Sun Prairie. I, yeah, going back, so I call up home. Billy's at home, Billy feeds the chaos for us the next morning. So Saturday, we get done with the matches, walk outside, ice storm. All out. Everything is all ice I'm down there. Yeah, Billy, you gonna do chores for us? This was Friday night, I'm sorry, Friday night. Billy, you gonna do chores for us? So I got to stay down to the state tournament both nights, which I didn't plan on staying overnight, but you know, the big fella up there, he must be looking over us and taking care of all of us wrestlers, and thank you very much. Good night.